Hey my friends, Barry Burns here, Top Dog Trading, and today I'm going to show you a great setup that, um, hey, this is a real gift that I'm giving you today. I'm going to show you on the Forex market, but actually you could trade this with stocks, futures, Forex, uh, day trading, swing trading, and it has to do with finding a very dominant energy and then trading and follow through in that direction. So before we get there, I'll be using the RSI here today. My favorite indicator though is my own proprietary indicator for getting exactly in at the precise time. You can get that at indicatorwebinar.com, submit an hour with you and I'll show that one to you. Today though, we're going to use the good old fashioned RSI. So. Uh, by the way, this is part of an overall trading methodology, but um, a very good part of it. So what do we got here? Okay. So one of the challenges, some misnomers, misunderstandings that people will see is that they'll be like, oh, wait a minute, we're at a previous high. And they'll say we're also in over, whoops, I'm not able to do that. We're in overbought territory because uh, quite often 70 is used as the overbought line. Uh, no, that is incorrect data. What you've been taught is upside down, inside out, and inverted. In other words, that is 180% wrong. When the RSI, which is a strength indicator, relative strength, that's what the strength or the S stands for, strength. When it gets up here to 70, that means we have a strong bullish move. And actually, the uh, indication on that is that it will continue to go up, not that it will go down. So we get a little retrace here, which is exactly what we want. Comes back on up here. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to go along that puppy dog. Man, I got to let these arrows go. Okay, so let's clean this up here a little bit and I'll show you the, uh, the pattern. And it's several parts to this pattern. Um, again, you'd want to make this part of a complete trading methodology, which I'd be happy to share with you mine on the, um, on the webinar. But let's just show you this one for right now. So we look for the first thing we look for is on the indicator is strength up. That is indicated by it getting to the level of 70. We want impulse moves up on strength, showing professional buying. We look for a retrace. This is a retrace trade, not a breakout trade. We want that retrace bottom to come at a previous high, which we get right there. OK, and so that's the key. So as it comes into, we get the strength movement here. We get the retrace down to that high. And that's where we're going to be looking to buy a continuation to the upside. Nothing overbought about this at all. Exact opposite. So again, three steps. One is, I'm going to actually change my um, drawing tool here. So step one is to reach the 70 level with RSI, strength to the upside. All right. Step two is look for it to come back and hit support at a previous swing high. And step three is then just trade that puppy along. Okay. Now you could take it. A lot of people take it and enter above this high. That's great if you want to buy retail. I like to buy wholesale myself. I prefer to buy wholesale, especially when trading. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy this low. Now that's what I'll show you at the um, indicatorwebinar.com. Be there live with you and show you how to nail these lows here, right? I mean, within a penny, pip, or tick. That's how precise we can get those. But this is the big pattern. And if you want to trade this by itself, well, go ahead and uh, test it out. It's a really good pattern. Uh, in fact, let's see what happens after that. Just for giggles, keeps going up. Notice, by the way, people who call this stuff overbought, uh, did it stop being overbought here? No. Did it stop being overbought here? No. Continued to go up even higher, didn't it? Nothing overbought about this. Mm -mm. Nope, that's incorrect. That is not the way to read that. Uh, and then we continue to go up and then we finally come. Well, the market just consolidates then for a while. Now, oh, here we go. Let's look at this one. So actually, we get another signal in the opposite direction now. So let's look at that puppy again. What do we got here? Market comes down, 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 downtown. Charlie Brown. So where does that happen? It happens right there. 
Okay, so now it hits the what a lot of people would call the oversold level of 30. So it should go up, right? Nope, isn't going up. It's still going down. So we are now looking for shorts, continuation shorts. And what we don't want to do is lose our shorts. We want to keep our shorts on. Now, the people who would buy this, what are they going to do? They're going to fill their shorts because they're going to lose money. They're going to get stopped out. So now, again, looking for a previous level to um, short this off of. Um, actually, people are going to buy that would fill their shorts. We get our shorts filled. You know what? This analogy is not working out. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> Overbought, oversold. It's really the opposite. Man, I really messed that up good, didn't I? Okay, so here's a previous low, and this is where the market retraces to. So after we get down here, we wait for our retrace, and then that's where we're going to go short, and other people are going to fill their long johns. How's that? They're fill their long johns. Oh my gosh, I messed that up really bad. Uh, that's what happens when you try to be too cutesy. Right. But you get the uh, concept, the dynamic, is that this, again, the relative strength is actually to the downside. See, here's the problem. It's not a problem, it's just the reality. This indicator is a bounded indicator. It's only allowed to go from 0 to 100. So these are artificial floors down here, and these are artificial ceilings up here. So what we're really looking for is, again, as I said before, that that um, strength to the downside and then to look for a retracement to resistance and then follow through on strength to the downside. Here, we looked for strength to the upside and then continuation strength to the upside. So that's the basic concept through all my um, silly little um, comments out the window. Uh, and stick with the the concept and there it goes down pretty good move and then as you can see as the market continues it just goes sideways here you've got support going sideways 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 and then guess what up oh, there it goes again made even a lower low after that because why we got no strength to the upside never went back and hit 70 to the upside and so therefore the relative strength is still to the downside all right, keeps going sideways. This is all just kind of meandering sideways here. So pretty much there you go. That's a choppy market. And we don't want to trade choppy markets because choppy markets chop out, chop up our trading account. So I'm going to go take some speech lessons and I'll be back with the next video. But take the concept. It's very, very powerful. Works great. Test it out for yourself. Obviously, do not trade this with real money until you've proven to yourself that it works. Simulate, test it, demo test it for quite a period of time. Um, you can back test it if you want to. And I would add a few extra things. Right now, we're just using bullish strength, uh, bearish strength, and support resistance. I like to add my timing indicator to get into the exact penny per tick. Go over to webinarindicator.com, pick that up, spend an hour with me. And uh, by the way, we'll be there live, so I'll answer any questions you might have about it. And then there's a few other energies here too, energies of money flow that I would incorporate into this for a complete trading methodology. And hopefully it goes without saying that you also want to use impeccable risk management and impeccable money management.